If you aren't using Kind for your local Kubernetes development, you're missing out. In this video, I'll go through four most common scenarios that you'll probably run into when using Kind. If you don't have Kind installed, you can follow the instructions on the website to do so. Let's get started. Creating a single node cluster is straightforward. You run kind create cluster and that's it. But what if you want to create a multi-node cluster? The create command supports YAML configuration, where amongst other things, we can configure the number of nodes in the cluster, labels we want on those nodes, the node image we want to use, additional mount points, extra port mappings, and so on. Here's an example of a multi-node cluster configuration. This configuration creates a control plane node that hosts the Kubernetes control plane and three worker nodes. We're also setting labels on each node. To create this, we can run kind create cluster dash dash config and pass in the configuration file. Once the cluster is created, we can see the nodes and their labels by running kubectl get nodes dash dash show labels. If you're working on an application that runs in a Kubernetes cluster, you will need a Docker image and you will reference that image in your Kubernetes deployment. Typically, the way to do this is to build an image, tag it, and then push it to some container registry. Then you would create your Kubernetes deployment YAML and then reference the image in there. Doing this locally is kind of awkward. Ideally, you want to build and tag the image and then have that image immediately available for use inside the cluster. So skipping push and pull from a Docker registry. Kind supports this workflow and it's very easy to use. There's a command called kind load docker image that will load a locally built docker image into the cluster. I have a docker image I built locally called my app with a tag 1.0.0. Instead of pushing this image to a registry, I can load it directly into the cluster nodes by running kind load docker image and then the name and the tag of the image. If I run the command, Kind will take the image and load it onto all nodes in the cluster. Once the images are loaded on the nodes, I can refer to the image with the same name in the Kubernetes deployment YAML and everything will work fine. Metal LB is a load balancer implementation for bare metal Kubernetes clusters, and it gives us a nice way to expose services of type load balancer. No more pending state for those services. Metal LB is not part of Kind, but it's very easy to install and use it. Once you have your Kind cluster running, you can install Metal LB using Helm. So you run Helm upgrade install, provide the namespace name, point to the Metal LB repo, and then the name of the chart. This will take a couple of seconds, but once it completes, we'll have a Metal LB controller running in our cluster. Next, we need to tell Metal LB the IP range from which it can take IP addresses for those load balancer services. We can do that with the IP address pool resource, but first we have to figure out the IP range that we can use. Since Kind is using Docker to run the cluster, it created a network called Kind. We can use the Docker network inspect command to get the subnet that's being used by the cluster. We'll run docker network inspect kind command and then we'll get the subnet out from the IP address management section. This subset range gives us 65,000 IP addresses we can choose from. We can pick a range, let's say 172, 18, 255, 100 to 200 and that will be our IP address pool for the load balancer services. We can apply the IP address pool resource and the L2 advertisement resource, and then we can create a Kubernetes service of type load balancer, and you'll notice that we get an external IP address assigned to the service. Another option we have for using local Docker images is to run a local image registry and then push the images to that registry instead of loading them onto the nodes. The website has a nice script that will create a local registry and then configure the nodes to use it. First, it runs the registry image as a Docker container. Then it creates the cluster. The configuration for the cluster includes a patch that's necessary for the nodes to use the registry. Then it creates the configuration on each node, then maps local host to the actual registry container name. And finally, it connects the registry container to the cluster network. With the cluster and registry running, we can either build or pull an image, 
tag it using the local registry name, which is localhost 5001, push it to the registry, and then finally refer to the images in our Kubernetes deployment YAML files.